to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danny, and I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So welcome back to another Faith Friday. Um, today's video is in my car, as you see. Uh, today I just wanted to talk about just kind of, I don't know, I guess you could say they're more basic things, but it's just really like, I don't know, I listened to a sermon yesterday, and I was talking to a friend about this, and I just really like feel like this would be a good topic to talk about when you want salvation when you want to be saved and when you want you know when you want to go to heaven basically when you want to be able to get into heaven um all you have to do is literally just turn to god ask for forgiveness believe in him that's literally it as long as you believe that you know as long as you believe in him you've turned to him you've asked for forgiveness like you are saved like you are in your inheritance, like right there, like right there, he gives you, it's a free gift. Like salvation is a free gift, okay? It's not something that we have to go and do all this stuff to be able to get, okay? It's not, all oh, these shadows, oh my gosh, you guys, the shadows. I'm so sorry about these shadows. Like, I don't know what to do about them. Anyway, um, just ignore that, the weird shadows on my face. But it's not something, salvation is a free gift from God. It's not something that we have to work to earn okay and that is something that our flesh like our like human selves really struggle with sometimes because we think that you know in, in our world it's like you have to work hard to get somewhere you have to or with somebody like you might have to you have to do something to earn their forgiveness or you have to do something so that they'll do something back for you um and that's kind of how our world works um but that's not how god works and so that kind of is something that our flesh wants to fight you know our flesh wants to be like but i did this and this and this and this like you did all these maybe all these bad things or things that you consider to be bad and you've you're you feel like you're not like good enough to be saved yet no like god doesn't want you to do anything before you you know before you turn to him literally when you turn to him then that's when he can start working in you and through you as you spend more time with him then he can he can begin to give you those things like kindness grace um love just like all of the the promises and the gifts of god you know then then he can work those through us so it's not us it's not us within our effort and within our might to try and be something for god like he knows everything about you he knows your all of your flaws and he wants you just as you are like if you have nothing to give god that is perfect like that is perfect you don't have to give him anything you don't have to do anything for him you don't have to be like oh let me just clean up my life a little bit more and then i'll be ready to like go like with god like no like like you, you can't wait okay like if that's something that you think you want to do like just do it okay like like you never know like maybe you won't get that chance to like ask for forgiveness from god or maybe you just keep putting it off and putting it off like there's no reason to put it off you know like there is no reason and this lighting is so bad i'm so sorry oh my gosh but yeah so that's like the first thing that i kind of wanted to talk about and then the second thing is we is going along with like us doing things you know we get frustrated um in our lives and we can kind of take it out on god um but the reason why we get frustrated most of the time is because we're trying to do something on our own within our own might within our own energy and then we get frustrated because it's not working well we, if we're continuing to try to do it all on our own then we're gonna be frustrated, you know? God wants to, to help you through whatever you want, you know? God is there and like you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you, okay? Like doing it, we're trying to do it with our own power and might, we're gonna get exhausted, we're gonna get tired, we're gonna get fed up, we're gonna get frustrated, we're gonna wonder why is it not working, why is it not working, let me try this now, let me try harder, like let me like burn myself out to like nothing and then you know what I mean and then then you'll go back to God but like God wants you to like keep him in every step of the way like he wants you to keep him keep him you know on the whatever page you're on you know like to pray continuously he wants to be involved in everything in your life so yeah you don't have to do anything to come to God um and once you are saved and you have once you once you come to God you turn ask for forgiveness for your sins you you want to love him okay you want him in your life you want to go to heaven whatever um you, he doesn't take it back like he's not gonna take it back you know um it's one thing if you completely turn away from him and decide to start doing 
things for the devil or like worshiping the devil or something or like if you like literally like turn your back on God and you're like no like I'm gonna go do this and live this life I don't want that life anymore that's one thing but if it's like us just making mistakes you know like human mistakes like if you end up you know doing things that maybe you did something that's a really big sin if you do something that you consider to be like a huge sin but like it you still love God if you still believe in God like he's not gonna take your salvation away from you like it's not how it works that's not how it works. It's a free gift. He's not going to take back his gift that he gave you um, just because you make mistakes. You know, we all make mistakes. We're not perfect people. Nobody is perfect. And I feel like there are a lot of people who maybe look at other people and think that, oh, like, th like they deserve it more. Like they deserve to go to heaven more or they deserve God more or like, wow, like they're really like they're such a good person like of course like like I don't know people think that certain people are gonna have more favor from God or certain people God loves more that's not true like it doesn't matter like if you have turned to God and you believe in him like he loves you he loves us you know he loves us all the same and he doesn't take back his love he's not he's not a, a bad God he's not a evil person that's gonna like do all these evil things to you because you've made a mistake. So yeah, I guess I just wanted to say that because I feel like that's something that maybe a lot of people struggle with. I know a lot of people get mad at God um, for things and honestly, I don't really have the answers to all of that topic. Um, but because you know, bad things do happen and there's just things that people are like, why did God allow that to happen? And you know, I don't have the answers to all of that, but there's lots of pastors that you can look up on YouTube and you can find answers to all of this. Um, Mike Todd, Transformation Church, I will always recommend him. Um, he has tons of videos. Go on there, search him up. Joyce Meyer, love her. Um, Steven Vertic, I don't watch him, but I've heard he's really good too. Yeah, those are just a few resources that I would recommend. I just want to say, like I said, it's not within our might and within our power to like do things for God, you know, for him to love us or for him to let us go to heaven. But in order to like, if you want him to be working through you and in you and around you and really affecting your life and you can make a change and you can like do God's work and do what he wants, what he's called you to do and find out what that calling is and really live it out, you do have to put in work then. Um, work so you do have to you know spend time with God spend regular time with him it's so important to have regular time with him um, you know in the morning before you even go out, before you go out and do anything being like getting charged you know he's the power source we need to plug into him that's what Driss Meyer said last night on the um, video I watched but yeah we just need to plug into the power source and really get charged up before we go out into the world because otherwise we can turn into some nasty people you know people get get on your nerves people make you annoyed and you do things and you say things and you can be angry and you know if you're a follower of God you don't want people to look at you and see that you're being so nasty and rude and they're like wow like she's no different than me and I don't even believe in God you know what I mean so in that regard it is just so important to spend time with God and it's not something it's not a rule it's not something you have to do but it's something that once you like if you love God like you're just gonna like want to do you know it's just something that comes along with it and you're just gonna want to spend time with him and then once you spend a little time you're gonna want to spend a lot of time and then you're gonna not be able to spend any day without God you're just gonna want him all the time and you're just gonna always do it make it a habit um, sometimes it's hard I'm not going to lie sometimes it's hard to read the Bible sometimes it's it's it might be boring or it might just be tedious or it might just be like something that feels like a chore honestly at the end of the day if you know that you want to be closer to God you can just you know pray to him tell him tell him your feelings he doesn't get mad he already knows your feelings he's not gonna get mad if you tell him like you know like reading this Bible or like whatever it is that that you're struggling with um, is like you know it's hard for me God and like I just you know I feel like I'm, I'm honestly like I can't get out of this laziness or maybe you just you can't find like the you just you just don't want to do it okay maybe you just don't want to do it you just it just doesn't make sense to you or something you can pray to God about that tell him how you feel ask him for ask him for the energy to do it ask him for the um, revelation in your mind to be able to understand what you're reading he can help you with that and um, 
yeah, it just sometimes you just have to do it even if you don't feel like it. Just like with anything in life, I always re relate everything to working out. You know, even because you know what your goal is. You know, the end goal. If your end goal is to be close to God, then you gotta spend time with Him, even if sometimes you don't feel like it. Because the devil will come in. Okay, he will come in and he will try to. He'll make you tired as soon as you try to read the Bible, or he'll he'll make you not feel like it. He'll he'll put all these other things, distractions in your life, to so that you don't read the Bible, so that you'll go veer off and go do other things. Like he will do that, but you have to be strong and know what your end goal is and stick to it, and you will see amazing fruit in your life. That is all I have for today's video. Very short and sweet. I just wanted to film this really quick. Um, I am so tired. I'm trying so hard to keep my eyes open. I don't know if you could tell I was like really squinting in the last part. I'm trying so hard to be like energetic, but I don't have any energy right now. <laughs> I, um, I slept like three hours last night, legit. And um, I did a workout today. And I'm just starving and tired, but I wanted to get this filmed for you guys. I didn't want to miss out on a Faith Friday video. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. The shadow on my face is terrible. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.